What's up, Simonix? Welcome to day 18 of the Ionic Holiday Calendar. Today, I want to talk about the global header component. Um, I got this question in the past a few times. If it is possible to have a shared component like a header that is used across all your application, and yes, of course, it is possible. So let's see what we got. I will just reuse an example we had earlier, just a regular page where we can go to a second page and also a modal in which we actually also have a little uh, kind of navigation going on. And now let's say you have the requirement to always have a specific button for a logout, uh, maybe a logo or anything like this in your header component. Of course, it doesn't really make sense to do this in like 20 or 50 pages of your application. So the better way to do this is to simply, um, no, that's not, uh, let's just do it. Ionic generate a new component inside the components folder and we will call this header. So with this component, we can then have all the code for the header, like displaying an image or anything like this in one specific place. Uh, let's see where are the components. Just make sure um, in my example, I already have the, um, what's going on in my second tab? I'm not sure. Um, just make sure that you're having like a shared components module so you can declare your just created component and also export it at the same time. No, that's not what I wanted to do. That's, uh, that's already what we did with the modal base. And now we got the header in there as well. So whenever you want to use this, uh, either add it right to the app module. I think that should work as well. I will just add it to the module files of the pages. So we have a second page, we have a settings page, a shared components module, and then we also had an account page. Um, so let's add the shared components module. Let's just the uh, way to import our component in other pages. Now let's see how we can uh, change. Let's start with the home. For example, we will just copy this code and put it right into our header component. Um, I will stick with this for now. And inside the TypeScript file of the component that you can see the selector of your uh, component. That's really important because that's what you're going to use in other places. So now we can simply say app header right in here instead of what we had before. And guess what? The result should look exactly like before, and it actually does. Now, the problem is, of course, if we go to, for example, the second page and put our app header in here as well. <coughs> of course, we now have also a little comment issue going on and also the same header. So we need a way to pass some more information to the app header. And we can do this by defining, first of all, a few inputs and these are imported from angular core and let's say uh, we define the first one to be the title which is a string then we might also want to have different colors on different pages so let's say we also have a color then we just in general set to primary and then remember we also had a model so we might also need an another boolean is modal and we can actually set this to false. Of course, here and there, we don't need this really bad. Let's keep it for now. So now as we got the inputs defined, we can go back to our pages and copy the title we had before. And now we can pass in the title right into our app header. And let's see, this one is, I'm currently on the wrong page. This one is still Ionic Components and this one as well. So on the second page, we will change the name, of course, title to second. And now we have the app header in place in both pages and we have different names right here and not here. Um, did you save this, my friend? Hello. Um, Normally it should work exactly like this. Perhaps I did a mistake. Yeah, maybe I should also use the title in the header component. 
Now, as you can see, the second page also needs a back button. And now things get a bit more complicated as we need to put additional information into this. So the color is now dependent on the color variable. Um, we might have, can I use my snippet ion buttons? Buttons, there we go, slot start. Um, we might need a back button and we might uh, need a button to close a modal. So if it is not a modal, we can display the back button. If it is a modal, we display a close button and then we also need to attach a close functionality using the modal controller in the header. So uh, whatever functionality you have to add, uh, you need to find a way to make this work in all the cases that you need to cover. So therefore, you might need a few more additional inputs here and there, then you're able to get this done. So let's go back to the page and now it should actually pick up at least my name and perhaps also go back, uh, go next, second. Ah, come on, um, NGF not is modal, it should work like this. I will also try to pass in the color. Let's use, I don't know, um, this one here. Actually, this this preview kind of makes me go crazy. So let's go with a normal one. Okay, we got Ionic components. We got the second page. We have no back button, which is actually kind of interesting. And for the model, we still need to use the app header. So let's also add this to our account page. And you see there's a lot going on here. Title is now account, color perhaps secondary. And then uh, actually this is also is model true. So a bit more of additional information. And where's the settings page? There we go. Comment this one out. Why is it always making an additional comment behind this? I'm not sure what is wrong with Visual Studio at this point, really. Really not sure. Uh, let's see. So here we go, show model, and it is still the same, although we have changed all the things. We can close the model, we can go next. The only thing that's not working is apparently the ion back button, which is um, strange a bit. Do we need a default href? Uh, ng if not is modal and is modal is set to false in the beginning. Yeah, perhaps. <clears throat> Why do I now have this one on the initial page? <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus, what's going on today? This shouldn't be here. Please leave, Ralph. Let me check this a sec. All right, things actually are a bit more tricky um, because the back button would be displayed on the normal page if we don't make sure that it's not displayed. So we can still add another is details input and only set this one to true once we are on a details page in our application. So then it will look like this. Now, why did I show you all of this? Because it makes it easier and a bit harder as you have seen, um, but especially easier if you want to um, tweak the UI of your header bar and you're not settled on the final design and you're changing it or you just want to add like a little image, then right now I just have to change the code in one simple file and I got the image added here everywhere to my header bar. So. Um, it can really make your life easier, but it can also be complicated if you get complex scenarios. So make sure to tweak the header component to your needs. But the answer to can I have a global header that works across all my application is definitely a big yes, as we've seen with our component. So I hope you enjoyed this day. Uh, we saw a lot of problems actually in this day, but I will be back tomorrow for another day of our calendar.